Hey guys, um, today we're going to be doing a video called Cook with Court, and um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a 3 2 1 cake. Um, this, this recipe I actually found from one of my beauty people that I watch, um, Debbie 3 2 1 4, and this literally is the most simple thing ever, and it tastes amazing. So, what you're going to need is a big Ziploc bag. Um, an angel food cake mix, it doesn't matter what brand it is, um, and any type of cake that you want. I have uh, chocolate in here, so it would be a chocolate cake. And the reason you need the angel food cake is because the angel food cake, you just add water, so it already has the eggs and all that stuff in it. So, you only need to get a cake mix. Hold on, the lighting here is very bad because the windows are all right here, so it's like washing me out. I'll put you guys in the cabinet. I'm sorry, okay. This video is not gonna be edited in case you can't tell. Anyways, okay, so that's all you need for this is a big bag, angel food cake mix, um, and a regular cake mix. And then you just take them, um, so you can do like red velvet, chocolate, vanilla, whatever you want. And just combine them in the bags. Um, in the bag. The whole thing, just put both of them in there. And then, of course, you're going to need a mug. So, it doesn't matter what mug. As long as it's microwavable. Today I'm going to use this one. I don't know. It's just one that's in my cabinet. Okay, and then... I'm going to travel you guys around to my kitchen. You're going to need a uh, tablespoon measure. I'll have the, re the recipe linked below too, just in case you guys can't hear. I made a bunch of these yesterday for my family, so the tablespoon must be in the dishwasher. Okay, here it is, okay. So a tablespoon, and um, you can put chocolate chips in it if you would like, which I'm going to do because I think it tastes better with them. So, let's get started. So, the reason it's called a 3 2 1 cake is because it's three tablespoons of the mix, two tablespoons of water, and one minute in the microwave, and then you have a cake. So, um, take three tablespoons of the mix. So, here's one. Hold on, I'm gonna try to be as precise as you can. And I realized that um, the cake mix I bought, the chocolate cake mix I bought, has chocolate chips in it. So, um, you will have a little bit more than you need. So, two. This is a really good treat, and it's like, you don't want to make a whole cake, but you want a cake. Like, it's very simple. And three. And then, you take your two tablespoons of water. So, here's my sink. I'm going to put it on very, very low. So I don't overflow it. Okay, that's not low. Lower. Um, let's say about there. Okay, so now I have one tablespoon of water here. I'm going to pour it into the cup and then I'm going to get my second one. And Pour it into the cup. Okay, so now you have the three two part done. Now this would be the time if you want to add chocolate chips that you'd add them. So I'm just gonna take not very many because it's very chocolatey when you put it in. So I just have a bunch here and I'm gonna sprinkle some of them in there, not all of them. So I put like five or six in there. Okay. And then put the extras that you took out back in the bag. And take a fork or a spoon or... I'm going to use a fork because a spoon is hard to get the extra batter off. And since there's not that much batter in there anyways, um, you don't want to waste it. So just stir it around until it looks like a cake mixture would. So I'm stirring. It smells... Like, um, angel food cake, um, rather than, like, chocolate cake or whatever mixture you have. My sister's coming in the kitchen. 
But, um, yeah. So, I don't know what to do this for. So I'm gonna put it right here for now. And then, take your mixture when it looks like this. And bring it to your microwave. Um, and it's a little bit dark over here, but this is where my microwave is. So, put it in there for one minute. And since this video is not going to be edited, I have to talk to you guys for one minute while it's cooking. So, I'm going to show you guys what to do to, in preparation for it to come out of the microwave. Okay, so, um, the flour on my phone. Okay. I like cool up on mine. You can put ice cream on it. Whatever makes you happy. But I'm going to let this thaw out for a minute because I put mine in the freezer. So it's hard. But it's like ice cream right now because it's so frozen. Um, get your fork ready with the to eat it with. And since it still has batter on it, since it's the one that you use, just wipe off the excess batter with a paper towel. And it should be good. I think almost done it. Smells really good. And then get a spoon for your cool whip. I can hear it. it's about to beep. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys over there so you guys can see it when it comes out. Okay guys, so it's done and it looks amazing. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And it literally it made a cake, which I think is so so cool. Um, like you could see, it's like the exact cake, like I'll take a bite of it to show you guys, but now I'm going to put my Cool Whip on it, and I like Cool Whip better than like whipped cream, I don't like whipped cream, I like Cool Whip, so people, some people like the Ready Whip or whatever a lot better, but I don't like it, it tastes like fake to me, but yeah, so just put a little scoop on of however much you'd like and then put the spoon in the sink um this is like a very easy process that you can do alone and you don't need to clean up a lot so then just close up your mixture and put it back in your cabinet for the next time you want to make it and then put your chocolate chips away and now you're ready to eat it so i'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you take a bite of it. So let me go to my table, just cause I wanna show you guys at the table. Um, okay, so let me get a scoop out with some Cool Whip. All right, so this is what it looks like, and it looks like an actual cake. It's really good, this is the best one I've made cause I put more chocolate chips in it than I normally do. So yeah, that's how you make a 3 2 one cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you decide to make it, um, take a picture, send it to me on Twitter, Instagram, not Instagram, I don't have an Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, anywhere, or film a video of you making it as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it tastes good. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!